See the green pattern on that Alibaba right there? That's not right. See this pattern? There's a little green right there, but see how it's whitening up? See how it's getting lumps on it? If you can get a little shadow activity, you can see the lumps. Where that watermelon over there is smooth. And then you look over for a yellow bottom. That's a stained bottom from the uh, soil. You can tell that one's not ready yet. This one has some pattern on it, but it's got it's changed to a white pattern around the edges. And see, it's not yellow on the bottom yet. That's just stains from the ground. Pretty close. Maybe another few days. You can see in the sunlight there, if I can zoom out, the lumpiness. They get lumps on them when they're getting ready to be picked. Well, we're over here cleaning out a few weeds and cleaning all the cucumbers off the fencing because we need the fencing to go around our coal crops. I pulled this particular one up and there is the end of the where it went in the ground. And look at that root. It's 50 inches long. That shows you how far one little plant from one little seed can root. We haven't weeded this garden in over two months. And I have all this compost and uh, leaf litter chopped up. You can see some back in that back end of the bed. But that's not a lot of weeds for not being weeded for two months. Well, we cleaned out the cucumber vines. And I took a rake and got all the leaves off of it. Plus a little compost and some pine tags. Because I don't want to turn leaves that are diseased or stems back into my soil. Now there's a little bit there, but I'm not going to go around and hand pick every little piece up. But at least that won't put disease in my compost pile. That trash can has all the vines and that will go on top, on top of that. I have picked all the 4th of July's and all the better boys. There are a few in there turning, but they're not red. And this is the plant that's given me so many. I just thought I would film it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's Sunday the 21st of September. And these little clusters are still turning ripe. And we're getting fewer and fewer on it. And it's probably only about less than 10 or a dozen on this plant. And they're all slowing down. And the okra is almost up to my eye level and I'm 5'11". We did get a few more beans off of those, so it seems to be working. And it's really hot today, and I actually have a sweat rag in my back pocket. And see, that is all part of this plant. So there's probably at least a dozen on it. And they're all shutting down. They're not putting out as many. It's just been too daggone cool. It was so cold uh, Friday night when we got here, you'd have to have a jacket to walk around outside sunny south you see this one still has a lot of tomatoes on it to turn and the one down here on the end also has quite a number and we've still got right many better boys that's a defective one I should have took off but they're still in here some of them are turning I've been thumping on my watermelons. I already talked about them. And uh, you can always tell. Somebody said he marked theirs with the magic marker when they set. But the bigger ones are the ones that's been on there. The oldest, you know, normally. And I will probably pick at least two, if not three of these, this midweek. There are very few apples on that tree over there. You can see a few right in there. And few that are brown and died and got moldy but the squirrels got them all in fact the squirrel was in there yesterday and thrashed around and came down with none in his mouth because there really wasn't any left and it's hard for them to crawl out on the end to get that but one more year the squirrels got all their apples before they're ready because we picked those in October and this is a problem with their okra see that it's not quite two joints in my finger and I'll probably be back uh, Wednesday, today's Sunday, 21st. 
and by the time I get back they'll be too big to pick but uh, if you fry them it's maybe uh, two slices possibly three they're a lot better when we're living down here we can pick them like tomorrow afternoon and they'd be perfect size no oh, I caught a few more cut off uh, a few more cherry tomatoes and uh, 16 were on that last plant and these are the better boys we picked this weekend there's some kicks we had from when I was down here Tuesday and these are the 4th of July's and this is the last of the cucumbers and we uh, peeled and ate this weekend probably four and there are a few green beans in there about for uh, big enough for a meal most of them are stunted they just didn't fill in the few beans we picked there are a lot of them that didn't fill in and be full-size whole beans <laughs> 